Test, test. Hello everyone, Retiro here with another episode of Blue and White, my Let's Play video journal video review of Football Manager 2014 and my time with the Vancouver Whitecaps. Uh, if you've been following us to this point, you've been watching a, by all accounts, fairly horrible season. Uh, we have won the Voyager's Cup, that's still, still clinging to that as the one high point of this season, because really we got nothing else at this point. <laughs> The MLS campaign is well and truly sunk, so at least we're getting a good draft pick, if nothing else. Uh, however, uh, in, in a when it's getting bad, it's getting worse uh, situation here. Uh, ooh, Kofi, oh, keep on waiting, buddy. Uh, yeah, Tiber's out three to four weeks with a thigh strain. Not good. Uh, also, a Hassan Muthafir, who I believe I'm bringing in on a free at the end of the season, which, yes, sure enough, here we have here, uh, is now out three months with a broken ankle, so... Yay! That's always fun. Oh, Lars Hirschfield's trial's almost up. Is that worth picking up? I wonder. I don't think so. I mean, Bendix doing well. Knighton is out. With that season-ending injury, I have a decent prospect in the pipeline. Do I really want to put more money on you know, an international-level keeper? I mean, it would be nice to have, you know, as you often do, hide Canadian content in your goalkeepers. As uh, sneaky as that may be. But it's also not a terribly bad idea, considering that depth is always a good thing, especially, you know, depth that can show up and start in a league match and you don't really have to worry about much. Uh, what do we got here? Dear, sorry, I was brought up to replace Tybert. No shock there. Hmm. Oh, man. That's not good. Uh, Stuart Holden out. Torres in. That's not fun. Ooh, Millwall's... Yeah, David Raven, who I was trying to bring in, looks like... Uh, hmm. I'll see if he agrees to that. Hmm. Azed. Three million? Now, if you've been following in the real world, that's a decent paycheck considering what the now villainous Camilo got when he moved to uh, to Mexico. Huh. But, uh, no. I want that cash up front. I don't want it in payments. So we will, uh, and we'll just continue to auto-reject. <laughs> uh, hmm. Marcio Diogo... 27-year-old attacking mid-striker. Could be interesting. Oh, and he did make the move to Millwall. Um, 3000 a week? That's not too bad, actually. Oh, uh, well. We will remove him from shortlist. He's transferred. Not interested. Uh, they have made a move for Kofi. Not interested. The vast majority is in payments. Not interested. Moving on. I think I mentioned this before in earlier episodes, but I do like how the vast majority of the game now can be done from the inbox. The the, the way that sped everything up, so nice. Um, though it, is, it does mean that often the temptation is to skip past a lot of the details. I mean, you don't see me going in and managing uh, Kofi's asking price, Camilo's asking price, or even, I mean, I've had multiple chances here to go in and check on Hirschfield, and I haven't done it yet. So I should probably, at some point... I just like how I'm tanking the Western Conference, but I'm still not dead last in MLS. I'm still 17th, so there are, there are two teams who are even worse than I am. So uh, that's promising, <laughs> I guess. Uh, all right, well, let's take a quick look at the uh, at her at her shields here before I address those. Oh, those international duties. Oh my goodness, this match against Dallas is going to be a nightmare. Uh, Alright, so, Hirschfield. What do my reports say on you? He would be good. He's listed as being better than Bendik. He's at the fullest potential. What do I have Bendik on right now? What's his deal? At a very cheap deal. And he's projected to be better than Knighton. So in theory, I could keep Bendik, drop Knighton, and then sign Hirschfield... It's not a bad way to look at it. What's my current cap situation, I think, is also a good way to look at it, because 
I am right... Oh, I got some room. I'm right up against it. I got some room here, and because of all the season-ending injuries, I got space. He wouldn't be an international. He would be salaried. He wouldn't be reserved. So, yeah, let's... I got four grand in room to bring on Hirschfield. Because then my goalkeeping core would consist of Hirschfield, Bendick, Thomas, who's currently out on loan, and Campbell as fourth, as a prospect. That's not too bad, actually. That's not bad at all. All right. And that would mean, because Knighton's out, I wouldn't have to worry about it. Okay, let's make that call. Oh, Mr. Hirschfield, are you interested in signing? Whoa, seven grand, forget that. I can't afford seven grand? Oh, what? This will up your shutout bonus. Ugh. Let's see if I can get him to... Oh, I gotta take that out of my, tra my allocation money. Ugh. All right, let's see if I can knock him down. Yeah, no, I'm not paying... Yeah, you know, I'm still not paying 7000 there is no way that I am playing your paying your client seven thousand. It's not happening. Yeah, you know why these talks are dragging on? You know why they're dragging on? You're not being realistic. There is no way I pay Hirschfield, a thirty-four year old keeper. Oh sure, now you come down slightly. I still can't afford that. So let's talk thirty-nine hundred. Oh, see now. Now you're being a little more reasonable as we inch closer to a value you can actually no. Forty one hundred. Non negotiable. Last chance. Nope. Alright, well, so much for that. Just sometimes the price isn't there. Camilo's more turn to Sampdoria. There's no way he's leaving. Utrecht is also at number 3.4. Yeah, that's a pathetic initial fee. Not interested. All right, let's go have a staff meeting here. Good, good. Jimenez, next, next, next. And all right, that was generally useless. Useless indeed. Um, Metallurg, no. Stop asking. Stop making horrible bids. Stop wasting my time. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes you just gotta wonder. What is the AI? Can't, can't, can't expect them to be perfectly logical. Though it would be nice. Interesting that's taking a lot longer than usual here usual here to actually load through all these matches it usually just skips right ahead so oh, I'm guessing because of all these friendlies overseas nope do, do. not interested oh everyone Sampdoria offered me half a mil up front that's still not good enough so keep looking though Serie A and Eredivisie that's uh, pretty good Utrecht offer is actually pretty good. If, if they could flip that around, give me the 2.6 mil up front, then pay the initial fee, then the league goals, and then percentage of profit, sure. Get my money when I can. Um, bum, bum, bum. Oh, Earl Cochran's still looking old, old. Oh, hello. Carlos Felipe Rodriguez. Interesting. What did you find out about him? Oh, he's making too much. Not interested. So a quick time check here. Uh, the time of recording this, I believe... Uh, I don't think I recorded before the Super Draft. So it is the Super Draft for MLS 2014 has uh, come and gone. Uh, Andre Blake has gone first overall to the Philadelphia Union. Uh, Andre Lewis went seventh overall to Vancouver and promptly signed a deal with the New York Cosmos of the NASL because, you know, why should Vancouver's <laughs> problems with uh, other teams taking their talent go away? 
ever. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes uh, when it rains, it pours. That's pretty much what it's looking like here. Oh, the Spanish transfer window has rounded up. Thank goodness. We can skip along here. Oh, a midweek match. Seattle Chivas and Columbus Houston. Oh, loan report. See, now maybe it was just a function of me playing in a lower league in 2013 with a uh, Voxel. But I never got this. I never got this any sense that any of the people I loaned out actually played in the lower level. So I'm glad to see that it actually gives you these reports. And Glazer is getting time with Richmond. Fath's getting time with Phoenix. He's playing well with Phoenix, too, which that's good. Clark's not getting any time with Augsburg. Not true to real life. Uh, Alderson getting lots of experience. He's actually got two goals. Good for him. Developing well. Herzog's doing decently, actually, with Edmonton. Mitchell is not at all. Oof. Not interested. And on we go. Wow. 3-3. A, uh, quite the tilt. <laughs> well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get that at uh, this stage of the season uh, as it happened. Seattle would have crushed Chivas. Uh, ooh, Aaron Perez, a 27-year-old goalkeeper. Guessing he's probably not worth much since his value is a mere $190. So off we go. Hmm. Interesting. Where did I scout? Scouting's in progress. Why is it in progress? Who is currently... Hmm. Man, that's a lot of reports from Mexico. Uh, bum bum bum. Assignments. Scouts, you're assigned 31 assignments. Canada, USA, North America, North America. Pool, knowledge. I do like how expansive this is. Very, very, uh, very much an improvement over last year. All right. No idea why that scouting is still in progress. So I think I've seen that before, where for whatever reason he just gets stuck trying to uh, complete a scout, uh, a scouting report. I'm gonna see if I can free that up. I imagine he was offered by an agent at one point. I said go scout him, and uh, then we got stuck. Lots of U19 and U20 action going on here. All right, FC Dallas away, with a bunch of international duty preceding it. Tigres have made a bid for Bruno Gomez. Oh yes, that striker. Ah, that is finalized, so we'll just go ahead and remove him from the shortlist. Yes. Do, do, do. That was fast. <laughs> oh, Rio Coker's back from his pulled hammy. Thank goodness. His training is good. Nothing seems to have graded too much. Excellent. 20s. Two goal comeback over Peru. That's nice. Oh, finally. Finishes that scout. On Nigel Hasselbank. Probably be interested. You'd probably want money. He's an attacker. Hmm. I think we'll just pass on that. Thanks. Domestic transfer deadline. Hmm. Are there any needs that I need to address before the transfer deadline? I don't think so. Not interested. Ah, oh, the match reports. What do we got here? Mane. Ooh, scored. Oh, Matt, I actually scored the goal in that match. Good for him. Came off the bench, played 13 minutes, and scored. <laughs> That'll get you a 7.3. Good job, Matt. Campbell. Ooh, 51 minutes played. 
Not so good. And Turnbull. Mm, not so good, but hey, he's young and he's learning. What have we got here? Charleston Battery went Leva on loan. Key player is attacking mid. Uh, I don't th think I want to send him out. Uh, let's take a quick look at their squad status here. Uh, yeah, Leva is certainly... He's going to be going on loan eventually, but I think I need him as cover right now. So... Not interested. I will reject. No reason. Soccer's Bose is out. Not interested. Dave Brown. Oh, that's one of mine. Oh, my goodness. That might not uh, be good. Considering... <laughs> Oh, I might need him to play for me. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, that might actually hurt me quite a bit here. Uh, friend with Guatemala. Nothing happens. U.S. beats Cuba in qualifying. No surprise there. Declute scouts. None of those people. Ooh. Uh, no. Carla Mitchell, Walter Vilches, and Lars Hirschfield. Uh, Vilches, not so good. Oh, Mitchell actually had a good game. Return to Adebayo, good for him. Well, Dax McCarty's returning. Ryan Nelson wants Gershon Kofi. Nope. Let's see, this is two and change. Now he's out of contract. No, and he's raised his fee. I think we'll walk away. Thank you very much. All right. Let's get into this match. Let's see who's returned from international duty, ready to go. Hopefully enough of a team to actually <laughs> be competitive, though in an away match. I'm not putting too much on anything here. Uh, Ian Joyce, no. Marcel Dijon, no. McKenna's been called up. No. Maybe. Scout him. Uh, da, 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 da. all right, here we go. Get the morning matches out of the way, and we'll take on Dallas. Yes, it's that time of year when all the other leagues begin to get all transferred. So, who's Houston beats New York? GFS beats DC. All right, looks like New England and the Impact are the two teams that are in the basement in these. Oh, as is Toronto. So Montreal and Toronto are in the basement. I'm better than both of them, apparently, so that's something. <laughs> All right, Hassley's ineligible, Eric's ineligible, Melu's out the concussion, Zach Lloyd's out the hernia. All right. Let's see if we can use that to our advantage. Yep, this is going to hurt. Okay, all on international duty. Oh my goodness, how are we going to get through this? All right, I need a striker. That's going to be Kenny Miller. I need a midfielder. Looks like Kofi moves over. Dax McCarty moves up. And Brad Rusin takes the D-mid spot. I need wingbacks. Oh boy, it looks like it's going to be Rio Coker. Fresh off injury, throw him into the right back situation, and at a Coog Bay, we'll take the left back. So Corb gets a sub spot. Actually, no, sorry. YP Lee's good to go. Yeah, yeah let's bring you in for Rio Coker. Coker's down the bench. Uh, Demerit. Jimenez Leva. I'm two subs short. Oh my goodness, who do I have in the reserves? Who do I have in the reserves? Anybody? Anybody? Eric Hurtado. He's listed for loan. <laughs> All right. You are most definitely staying with the reserves, but my goodness, for now, I need you here. 
All right, and the reserve squad. Do I have anybody else? Nope, because Brown got called up. <sighs> All right, looks... <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be horrible. Only six substitutes. This is going to be one heck of a match. <laughs> a depleted Vancouver goes up against FC Dallas. All right. Man, a draw would be fantastic. All right, well, that'll be fine. All right, everyone. Let's see what happens here. Come on, show me what you can do. Good. Oh, Lee. Must you hate me? Must you? I have faith in all of you. As much as I can offer. <laughs> all right, let's go counterattack. Exploit, hassle, drop deep. And we'll clear the ball to the flanks. All right, here we go. Dallas versus Vancouver. Dallas in the red with white hoops. Vancouver in the white. Let's see how well this goes. Early free kick for Benitez. Headed away, though, and Miller manages to get the ball forward, but it's picked up by Jackson. Goes forward to Jacobson, who finds Michelle, Michelle into the box side netting. Poor shot there by Michelle. Oh, Camilo with a free kick of his own. Oh, it's in! Straight from the free kick, Camilo scores, and it's 1-0 at the 17-minute mark. Oh, I feel so bad getting excited about that. Oh, man. Off Fernandez and in. Well, that's certainly a good goal to get on the road. Just trying to retain possession. I disagree, but all right. We'll see what happens here. Nope. O'Brien's getting in Fotis Bozakos' book. At least warned early. All right, let's see if we can see. No one's really stinking the joint up, though <laughs> Miller isn't doing too, too well. But honestly, that's good enough here. As long as we can get through this. Oof. Leverone. Bring in Rio Coker. Yeah, I think we're doing all right, guys. There's room for improvement. All right. Let's do some juggling here. We'll bring in Rio Coker for Atacoog Bay. Shuffle him over to Leverone's spot. And then swap with Rusin. All right. And actually, let's bring Dax McCarty back into his destroyer role and put Rio Coker on the right. All right. Much more to come. Much more to come. Come on. You gotta... That's right, Miller. Get fired up. Rio Coker, no pressure. Just want you to stay healthy. <laughs> All right. Coker's in for Atacoog Bay. We have juggled the roster and already, already playing dividends. Look at that. Rusin's been dominant in the air. Good. All right, let's, uh... Yeah, Miller's not doing his job here. So, you know what? Hurtado, congratulations. You get a run out here. Hurtado on for Miller. Any other late subs here? Oh, Benitez with another free kick. Goes short. Oh, the little chip play doesn't get far there. And Quaylar clears it all the way back. Back to the goal. It's outside the area here. The Costa coming forward. Plays it along the floor to Watson. Back to Jacobson. Watson's hassled by McCarty, who nicks the ball away only as far as George John. Forward to Kenny Cooper. Cooper out wide to Michelle. Michelle goes down the flank. Crosses in. Oh, but it sneaks by Bendik. Rusin knocks the ball into his own goal. And we are all even. Oh, Rusin had done so well up until that point. Uh, we need to get one more sub here. Yes, thank you. Uh, let's get Quelar off for Jimenez and see if we can provide a spark up front. All right, Jimenez, let's see what you can do. All 
Well, at least you can say we scored both goals in the match. Problem is, uh, one of them went into our net. A one all draw away, and that is indeed what we get. Unlucky boys, but that was, uh, that was well done. Appreciate your efforts, you're just unlucky. Appreciate your rest. Just unlucky. Alright, well that actually wasn't too bad. Came out of it with a draw, and you can see now in the latest patch, I didn't point this out uh, last time with the latest patch, that v v graphical bug has been fixed. Finally, thank goodness. And we now have the tables displaying properly. Uh, and as you can see, yeah, we're still at the bottom. But we did have Repsy Dallas's chase of Portland, which is good, and we still stayed ahead of Montreal and Toronto, uh, which is, at this point, not that hard to do. So, the end of the transfer window is coming up, and we match against San Jose next week. Hopefully, we will be on the up and up as we get all of our team back from international duty, because that was uh, not cool <laughs> to lose them all. We'll have to see what we can do to hopefully address uh, maybe picking up a goalkeeper, but other than that, maybe we just stay put. As we reach the uh, the end of the transfer window, we will see that's Hurtado making his debut finally. Wow. I haven't played him all year. Oh, well. Enjoy it, Hurtado. <laughs> uh, that was great. Looking at Benitez. Oh, that's great. All right, well, I think that's all for now. Thank you all for watching. This has been yet another episode of My Life in Silver League. My name is Roturo, and we'll see you next time.